everyone, my name is Kimia Andrew and you're welcome to Shared Chapters on Watchboard.com. Here on Shared Chapters, we're just taking a journey into my life, how I'm faring in this Abuja weather, this heat. Okay, so the city where I live, that's Abuja, it is hot, freaking hot. It's, Abuja is so hot, There's one, so the past few past few weeks, it's been so bad because the light supply has been really bad. Um, South Africans have what they call load shedding. We do not have load shedding. We have blackouts. Blackouts. <laughs> and for most... F- See, I'm not, I'm not bad mouth in my country or anything, but in a week recently, you would see lights maybe like three days a week. And the annoying part is, okay, they see light during the day. I'm not at home during the day. I'm at work during the day. So by the time I get home, there's no light. And throughout the night, probably isn't light. Maybe like on a few, uh, on, on a few days, you'll see they'll, they'll bring the light at night. Maybe like maybe two days in a week. Is it two days? Three days. How about that? Two days, let me be honest. Two days in a week. And the, it's so hot. I would wake up in the night and be like, oh my God, what is this? It's so hot. The only reason why I'm not sweating is because we're inside AC. That's really the only reason. Because there's AC here. And they turned it off. So that I would record and to not affect my sound. That's why. <laughs> That's the only reason why I'm not. For the moment I step out of these doors, I am going to be sweating like a chicken about to be slaughtered in Christmas. Like, it's not funny. It's so hot. It's... It's so hot, my wardrobe is changing. <laughs> so I come from the city of Joss, right? The city of Joss is very chill. If it's hot, it's hot for like three months in a year. To be honest, if it's hot in Joss, it's hot for three months in a year. The other months, really cool, really okay. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not wishing to go back to that cold because that cold would make you, that cold would beat you. The cold would wipe the floor with you. The cold is cold. It's winter chilly. So I'm not like saying that I don't want to be here. I want to be there. No. But I would just hit this. Every year it feels different. It literally feels different every year. And for that reason, I came, I came to I came to Abuja with, with a long coat that I was wearing my first few months when I got here. I, I not wearing, I was carrying it to work because it was like a comfort blanket for me. I We'll talk about this maybe in other episodes. We'll talk about why I dress the way that I used to before, where I'm like totally covered, very self-conscious. I used to be very self-conscious of myself, very self-conscious. I, if I was going anywhere, but I mean, I'm still self-conscious now, but it, it's not as bad as it was before. Before, if I'm going anywhere, even if I'm wearing jeans and a top, I'll carry a cardigan because I always subconsciously want to cover my body. So I I came to Abuja with that mindset. I came with... Um, with with about three cardigans. I came with a purple jacket, a navy blue coat, my black and white Asian inspired jacket, scuba, and then my boss got me a turtleneck because I would go home for Christmas, so she bought it for me because of the cold, right? I have not worn any of them <laughs> for the past year, a year plus because it's so hot here. So my wardrobe, I know how to start changing up what I have already, what I came with. I'm just doing that little by little. So I'm getting lighter outfits, more chiffony fabrics, more lightweight cotton, like those kind of things so that I do not die of heat. You would wear a chiffon top in Abuja and you will be sweating like they poured water on you. It's not funny. It's so not funny. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking, I'm not talking about the heat in Abuja. I'm talking about, we're talking about fashion. So um, past couple of weeks, a lot of fashion brands have have dropped their fall winter collections. Sorry, so their fall winter collections. We have Mugler, we have um, Balmain, Christian Dior, Christian Dior menswear, uh, Alexander McQueen. Like all of these brands have dropped. One of my favorites, Scaparelli. They have just been. They've dropped their fall winter 2024, and it's just really amazing to me. I, I work in fashion, right? I, I don't know if I've said that before. I have said that before. I work in fashion. I work at a fashion school. So I'm a fashion tutor. I teach pattern making, which I love. A lot of mathematics, a lot of ruling, a lot of calculations. I absolutely enjoy it. It's like you're the architect of fashion design. So that's why I love it. 
I love fashion and I love being a pattern maker. So just watching some of these collections has been really inspiring. Seeing how lots of these big brands are more moving into the space of being more ready to wear friendly. Yes, during couture week, you see a lot of creations, a lot of dramatic effects. I mean, Scaparelli is one of the brands that always delivers when it comes to creations. Ah, Daniel Roseberry. I love, right? I love what Scaparelli does. I'm a huge Dior person, so I love Dior's couture. Um, I love Dior's couture um, outfits. Like, I love, I love what their couture brand is because as a fashion, as a fashion person, I do bridal as well. So whenever I'm looking for inspiration to design, I would first go and check Dior, Christian Dior vintage, their looks. You know how Christian Dior was the was the pioneer of the new look so that really cinched waist full bottoms like he had that look and i love that look it's very feminine very whimsical very princessy and that's why i do bridal i want to be the your excuse to look like a princess that's why i do it so being able to just watch these brands and see how they are just transforming their brands um i'm a huge daniel roseberry fan i, I think I, I have also been a when it comes to vintage vintage collections, um, Christian Dior, one of my go-to. Scaparelli is also one of my go-to. Chanel, definitely one of my go-to. Hilariously, Chanel and Scaparelli have, have known to be a brand that beefs really well. And the funny part is this. So after Karl Lagerfeld died, that's when things for Scaparelli. Now, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hinting. I'm not, I'm not suggesting anything. I'm not saying anything. It's just that uh, one of my colleagues at work pointed out that it looks like any time like the beef between Scaparelli and Chanel has gone in so deep that when Scaparelli is coming up, Chanel is like a bit like a bit below it like that. There's usually this balance wheel thing happening between the two brands. I don't know. I don't have empirical data. I can't say anything that I don't know. So, but I'm just saying that now Chanel's a bit like silent, not as loud as before with Karl Lagerfeld. And Dana Rosebury is one of the top people that you have people talking about. And of course, Jacques Mousse. I mean, Jacques Mousse came into this space with one of the most, it's not most controversial, let me not exaggerate, but how he got into this space was indeed controversial. And I just love how Jacques Mousse is. He's defining what his brand is. He, he's basically not just defining what his brand is, like he has already defined it. But what, what I'm trying to say is, Jack Moose has, what he's done is almost like saying, this is where I stand. And if you want me, you have to come and meet me here. And that's what he does. He doesn't, he doesn't do his fashion shows during the normal fashion calendar. He has his own fashion calendar. And the reason why he does this is because where he's going to show, a lot of people have to travel to that place. And he's been considerate, if you think about it. He's been considerate not to disrupt the fashion calendar by making people travel to go and see a show and then come back. I mean, that's a boss move, but he's still been very considerate. <laughs> so, yeah, so we have Jack Moose. We have a lot of these brands that are doing so well. Um, Alexander McQueen, I love I, like, I loved Alexander McQueen when Stella McCarthy was there. I don't know how it's going to be right now. I mean, she has left. So I don't know what's going to be like without her, but I'm really ex I was really excited to see their collection. Um, Louis Vuitton, a lot of people were not really happy about what Pharrell did, but I'm a huge Pharrell fan to be honest. I like the fact that he got into this space. This was his his last um, menswear, not this one that just happened. The first one he did, he got a lot of critique for it, but I mean it's it's really it's his first. Okay, yes, I get it. People will be like, the people that have done first and it was amazing. Like, for example, um, Marie, when Marie did the her first collection for Dior, it was amazing. I loved it. I, I, am, I am the kind of person that I see, so I say I see, or I believe that what I see in these collections, whatever spirituality they attach to it, I see it. They might say it's not there. They might say it's Mother Earth thingies and all of that, but for me, I'm like, I see what you're doing, but I can't say that that's what it is because I don't have proof that that's what it is. So, but I loved what what, what Marie did for for Dior for her first collection, and I've always, I'm I, I'm enjoying what she's doing right now. Um, Dior menswear too is nice. Um, Kim Kim is 
not because he's my namesake. He's not even my namesake. He's a beautiful person's namesake. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I'm loving. I'm loving what the Western fashion space is doing. I'm a huge fan of that. And they are setting this pace and a lot of Nigerian brands are following and they're also setting up their brands like that. For one of my favorite Nigerian brands, even though well, uh, yeah, she is my favorite Andrea brand, is Andrea Yama. Anybody that knows me would know how obsessed I am with Andrea Yama because I am, number one, I'm obsessed with her fabrics. I'm obsessed with what she does, what her brand is in general, how she has set up the brand, how, many, how much work she has. She has put in so much work into the brand and is showing, and I'm absolutely obsessed with that brand. Um, I'm a huge, my, I've always been a huge matter for brand. Uh, his suits are amazing. Let's be honest. His suits are absolutely amazing.